Hey y'all, tonight we are gonna make barbecue chicken bubble up pizza. And I'm going to cut up, I don't need all of this bacon um, in, for the recipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and fry all of it up. I have one pack, package of, I think it's thick cut bacon. But I'm gonna go ahead and fry this up for the recipe and um, put back what we don't need for something else. So I just thought I would show you that. So we're gonna get this. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my kitchen shears because they're a little bit easier. So we're just gonna kinda cut these into chunks. Okay, now I have my skillet that I heated up and I'm adding in the bacon. So we're gonna cook this bacon until it's done and then I will take it out and we will strain that or drain it and then we're gonna cook our chicken in this same grease but I will take a lot of it out I'm not gonna leave all of that grease in there Y'all, look at that bacon. Doesn't it look good? Now, we're not gonna use all of that. We're only using a half of a cup, so I'll put the rest up. Now, I have my chicken. I have two chicken breasts, and I'm gonna cut these up into um, bite-sized pieces, and then we will get those ready to add to the leftover bacon grease. Like I said, I left probably a couple of tablespoons in there. The rest I just poured out. Um, we do save bacon grease, but I have plenty right now. So that's what we're gonna do next. Well, before we do that though, um, we are gonna salt and pepper the chicken. I used onion powder and some of my favorite, of course, garlic powder. And then we will put them in the skillet and cook them until they're done. Okay, the chicken didn't take too long to cook. So what I do is I'm just gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it on a paper towel lined plate so that it can kind of drain some of that grease. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. So here's our chicken, all done. <laughs> the biscuits just popped, like literally. Okay, y'all. Yeah, that biscuit dough scared me. I hate when it does that. So I have a pizza cutter and I'm just cutting this um, biscuit dough into small pieces and putting it into a bowl over here. And then you're gonna start adding in the other ingredients. Um, you're gonna start out with, I think it's one and a quarter cup of the barbecue sauce, the chicken. It's a half a cup of the chopped up bacon along with half of the cheddar cheese and half of the mozzarella cheese. And you're gonna mix that really well. And then take a nine by 13 inch pan, spray it with some cooking spray, and then you'll spread out your mixture and then top it with the rest of the cheese. And if you have any green onions, which I had a little bit, I added that on top. And then you're gonna put it in your oven and let it bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. I wish I would have let mine went maybe another five to 10 minutes because a little bit of the dough was doughy there in the center. But overall, this came out really good. Look how good it looks, y'all. Okay, Bubba, you first. What do you think of this? It's good. I like he, it. He loves barbecue chicken. Some There's some kind of barbecue chicken pizza that you like from Pizza Hut. I like barbecue chicken. So, I figured you'd like it. What about you, Courtney? I like it. I like how the biscuits. I love the biscuits. It's good. Mm. That's what it is. Biscuits. Yeah, it has biscuit dough. Okay, honey, what do you get? Do you like it? Mm. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of. I like it. You like it? I'm not a big fan of the barbecue. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Well, I thought, it, I mean, if you like barbecue, then. It, I don't like barbecue pizza anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, well, it's still really good though. Yeah. And it was quick and easy. Well. I like my salad. Yeah. He's actually talking. Look mm -hmm. at him. He likes the salad. That's a big old good salad. Mm -hmm. But this is good, especially if you like barbecue chicken pizza, then you will probably like this. So, <laughs> alrighty. Hey y'all, tonight we are gonna make hamburger steaks. I am going to double this recipe. So I've got two pounds of hamburger meat and I'm gonna mix in some Worcestershire sauce. 
<laughs> Worcestershire, is that right? Anyways, I'm putting in four tablespoons since I doubled it. Okay, next we're gonna add in um, a tablespoon of the Lowry's seasoning salt or seasoned salt. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of black pepper. And the original recipe called for half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and I doubled it to one teaspoon, but I should have kept it at a half a teaspoon because uh, my kids kind of said it was a little bit spicy to them, but it was good. So now you're gonna wanna mix it up really good, and the easiest way to me is just to use your hands. And then you're gonna form it into just little, I did it more of an oval shape patty, and I just set those to the side, and then I headed over to my stove and I started heating my pans up on medium heat and I went ahead and just sprayed a little bit of cooking oil in there and um, I ended up having to split it into two different pans there's my patties and then I just uh, stick them in there and what you're gonna do is you're gonna cook them uh, basically to sear both sides And once you get those seared, I just took them out, removed them to a plate, and then you're gonna put in some sliced onions. I just took one onion and sliced it, and I split it between my two pans, and you're just gonna let those cook until they're kind of translucent, or to your desired, I guess, <laughs> cookness, is that a word? Anyways, and you're gonna add your patties back in and let those cook on a low until they're done. And while those were cooking, I started making some 7-Up Biscuits. And you're gonna start out with the Bisquick uh, Biscuit Mix, and you're gonna add in two cups of that to a bowl, along with a half a cup of sour cream. And then you're gonna wanna mix that up. I used a fork, it just seems to mix it better. And my family loves these. They're very simple, there's nothing fancy about them, but they taste so good. Also, you're gonna want to take and have a fourth of a cup of butter melted. I've already done that. And now I have one of these small cans of 7-Up. Just bought the small little soda cans. And you're gonna need only a half of a cup of that. So then you're gonna add that in and stir it up. And this does make a very sticky dough. And I just basically make it like drop biscuits. Um, the recipe says you can roll it out or, or lay it out on a counter and stuff, but I don't do that. Gonna take that quarter of a cup of melted butter and pour it in the bottom of your pan I'm just using I believe it's an 8 inch pan and also your oven needs to be preheated to 450 I forgot to tell you that and I just kind of spoon those in there and I ended up cooking mine I believe it was between 15 to 20 minutes now here's all the food all done we had um, also some brown gravy I made and then I just made some green beans and I also made baked potatoes in my instant pot well or my pressure cooker start with Bryce again. How do you like it, Bryce? Good. Good? I was in the mood for steak, so we made hamburger steak, right? How do you like it, Kiki? Good. Good. Mmm. Honey, how about you? Two thumbs up! Yay! Adrian? Green beans. He don't like green beans, but I made the 7-Up mm -hmm. biscuits y'all been asking for. Green, green beans ain't edible. Yes, they are. They're good, and I even put bacon in them. But y'all, this was really good. This week, I, I thought today was Wednesday. It's actually Thursday. So, this is all for this week's What's for Dinner. Next week, we'll have more. This week's been kind of a crazy week. Right. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Thank y'all for watching. The restaurant. Uh, yeah.